Greetings, citizen of the internet. My name is C Plus Hero, Hero VTuber the Making. And today, I want to talk about the three things I learned after becoming a VTuber for two years. So, as you guys may or may not know, today it's my birthday. Yay! But it's also my second year anniversary as a VTuber because, well, I debuted as a PNG tuber on this very day. Two years ago, exactly. And man, what a ride it's been. I don't know why, but a lot of stuff really has changed. But I want to discuss just these three things specifically that I learned after becoming a VTuber for two years. Number one is finding the, your niche. I think this is kind of very important. And it's something that a lot of people who started may not get at their first try. Because originally, I was planning to become a Pokemon content creator. But I didn't really stick to it or committed to it completely. So I just really didn't stick with that, you know. I did indeed made a lot of uh, Pokemon VGC uh, videos if you go back to uh, my YouTube channel and check out my oldest video. But I never really stick to that. I really never did. And another thing is that it's best not to feel afraid to experiment and finding your true niche, something that you like to do the most and it's okay to ask questions with others to find out what you really like you know learn from others learn from their mistakes and just experiment as many as much time as possible because you want to find your niche in like about a day a week or even like six months after you started VTuber you know it may even take like a year to find out what you exactly want to do and some people who's been VTuber longer than I did Still couldn't even find their true niche yet. But there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's really nothing to be ashamed of. Of not finding your niche yet. But eventually you will. But of course for me, I focus on a hero centric for my niche theme. So the easiest way to find your niche is actually think of a theme, you know. Like, what is the common thing of all the video games or the things you like to do that, that um, share? So I always think of a theme for my niche and somebody actually suggested me this on a disco server that I should focus on making a hero centric stuff which I did. What that mean is that it's not just about you know superhero or anything like it but more so like a heroic protagonist video game that focuses on or tell the story about a heroic protagonist or protagonist that's basically the hero of their story you know. Currently, my biggest interest is Hokai Star Rail, so I think I found a pretty good uh, niche to build on, and I really do enjoy making videos and streaming Hokai Star Rail very recently, like about a few months from now. I think, like, technically last year actually, that I started streaming about Hokai Star Rail, and I've been really, really enjoying that. So, I think it's best to just, you know, don't feel afraid to experiment and find your true niche. And it's okay to ask questions with others. But at the end of the day, it will be you who decide what kind of a niche that you want to do. A second thing I learned about after becoming a VTuber for two years is growing a thick skin. Now, this may be sound harsh and cruel for a lot of people. But I think the only reason why so many VTuber uh, quit VTubing or content creation in general is because of they don't have a thick skin. What do I mean by that is that in reality can be so cruel and not everyone will like your content that you make or what you speak about or what do you even look like. Like nobody's gonna like you essentially. Not everyone will like you. I don't mean like nobody will like you but nobody will not know you and nobody will uh, like you unless you show them why they should have like you. And it is fine that not everyone will enjoy your content because one way or another, uh, whatever you do, it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, you know. But be mindful about it, have an open mind, and whatever feedback you hear, remember that you just don't have to agree with them, you know. Like, even advice, advices that you listen to, you don't have to agree with them. In fact, you don't really have to like follow the advice like like strictly, you know, like strictly. You just have an understanding and move on. And of course, you know, tell a difference between, you know, uh, a positive and negative criticism and you should be fine for most of it. Of course, I'm still learning how to grow my thick skin too, but that is something I learned about 
becoming a VTuber for two years. Growing a thick skin, it's somewhat of a requirement if you want to become successful in content creation. Because the world can be cruel and you will get a lot of feedback, both the good and the bad. And the third and the last thing I learned about after becoming a VTuber for two years is that make content other than just streaming. Now, I know, I know what you guys are all thinking about, like, but, but, you know, I streamed on Twitch and all, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's face it, Twitch, as good as Twitch it is, it's not really great when it comes to just growing your content. I mean, just streaming won't get you anywhere. You have to, like, go outside of just streaming because the thing is, once you stop streaming on Twitch, you just become non-existent very quickly or just very immediately. Like, once you stop streaming on Twitch, you're just irrelevant anymore. As harsh as may sound, that's kind of what it is. And you, got, and you gotta have to like grow outside of Twitch, outside of streaming and make actual content. Something like, you know, long form videos on YouTube, YouTube short, TikTok, Instagram, Reel, whatever. You have to make content around your niche. But remember, like your first live stream where you don't expect a lot of people or no people watch you, you should expect that not many people will watch your content right off the bat. Now, of course, some people will get lucky and will become very successful on their first video. Maybe get like a couple of views, like 10 views, 100 views, or maybe even a thousand view. But majority of people will not get that kind of privilege. The best way to get your video noticed is by making a thumbnail and a good titles. Catchy titles like something that, you know, bring emotion that can play on people's emotion and make like a very um, attractive thumbnail are, are good ways to bring your attention to your videos. And the best place to grow outside of Twitch, as I believe, is YouTube because YouTube is all about discoverability for majority of time. And YouTube allows you to you know, add thumbnails, make titles, and it gives you like a better analysis and analytic tool to like keep an eye on your video's retention rate or whatever than like on Twitch, at least from what I experience. And I would say that you have a better chance of streaming both on Twitch and also on YouTube if you use multi-streaming. Now, I know that there's that whole policy of Twitch, you know, well, Twitch kind of changed their policy a couple of times and now they're kind of more little lenient about uh, multi-streaming. The only exception is that they don't allow you to show your YouTube chat on their Twitch side, which is kind of a little weird, but that's kind of a whole different story. And most importantly, be persistent and don't give up and also be consistent. But, also be more graceful toward yourself. I think a lot of content creators, especially the small content creator and VTuber, they put too much expectation and be a little too harsh on themselves. For example, if you cannot make or upload a video this week, it give you, then give yourself some extra days. I know, life can, you know, be, a, be kind of a little bit of a bitch, you know. Something happened in your life. You know, it takes your priori priorities. You gotta have to take care of your family members or your loved one. It's understandable and it's okay to, you know, uh, miss a week of not of uploading a video or not uploading a video for a couple of days. It's best that, you know, make a good video over quantity of videos. But as a newcomer, as someone who's new, it is kind of important to just balance out between quality and quantity video. Because not every video that you make will be perfect or come out with good quality. So sometimes it is best to just make a lot of sucky videos. Like bad 100 videos until you get that one video that may potentially become viral or whatever. And get you like jumpstart, you know? So I think it is best to just make a lot of video. Um, stay consistent with it and learn how to, you know, editing on your own. Now, of course, if you have some money to burn or um, afford it, then you can just afford an editor and help you make a video from your live stream bot from Twitch. But personally, 
there's so many guides on how to you know to do video editing on youtube you can just spend your weekend to just watch all those videos and take notes and learn how to edit it on your own and that's kind of what i did and i personally use davinci resolve because davinci resolve why it has a lot of learning curve it's free 100 percent free and there's just so many guides video on youtube for davinci resolve you can also try out other editing video like adobe premiere but adobe premiere costs like a has a monthly subscription so i wouldn't like recommend it if you're tight on money and that's kind of what i learned about uh, v2b after becoming two years so find your niche growing a thick skin and make content other than just streaming or outside of streaming and i think you should you know be good to go this video is not really meant to be like some kind of a a proper guideline on how to become a video i mean not become a vtuber my my apology but i think it's very important and i hope that you guys you know learn something from this but that is all thank you for being my subscriber for like two years or if you've been you know subscriber for only one day or one month i appreciate for all of you who subscribe to me like my video watch my live stream and videos on youtube and I hope that we'll have another successful 20 year for 2024. And hopefully, I will continue growing and eventually may become big. Maybe big as Iron Mouse, but that's kind of a huge pipeline dream. Maybe I'll be as big as, I don't know, like, whatever, you know. I don't know. I can't think of any big time VTuber name right now. But until then, until then guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider giving a like. Hit that subscribe button and check my content here on my YouTube channel as well as check my social down in the video description below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching guys. C plus hero signing out.